Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this tutorial is a quick tip on how to make this cool looking groove design on wall in a Revit software. So let's get started. Let's open a new project file. I prefer working with feet and inches, so I'll go with default Imperial. But if you are a fanboy of metric units, please go ahead with architectural template, which by default uses metric units. So I'll choose default imperial and hit ok. So now we are into the project environment. Before we start making group design, we need a wall for that. So let's quickly draw a wall. Choose wall, let it be generic 8 inches. I'll just go ahead and make it up to level 2 and let's draw a wall. Let's say 30 feet, hit escape. Let's see it in 3D. Zoom it a bit. Now this looks a bit empty. Let's add a door and window here. Go to level 1. Choose door. Load family. US Imperial. Doors. Residential. And you can choose door whichever you like. I'll go with this door. Hit OK. And just place it over here. In the same way, we'll place a window over here, select window, load family, go back a bit, select windows, and you can choose any window, whichever you like. I'll go with this one and just place it over here. Let's see it in 3D. Okay, so this looks pretty good. So now let's start making a group design on this wall. So I will be using wall reveal tool for this. There are a few more ways to make a group design, but I find this way as the most effective and easy to do it. But if you know some better way of making group design, then please let me know in the comment section below. So now just click on this drop down and select wall reveal. Click on the wall and hit escape. Let's see it from the side view. Zoom it a bit. Now this profile looks a bit bigger, but we can also create our own profile as we need. So to do that, just delete this, go to file, new and family. I'll go with English Imperial and search for profile reveal template which is over here, select it and hit open. So now we are into the family environment where we can create our own profile. So to do that, select line, zoom it a bit. I'll be going with one inch square profile over here. So to do that, I'll go with half an inch above, one inch inside the wall, one inch below, and just join this like this. Hit escape. So this is our profile. So just save this family. I'll save it on my desktop as profile. Hit OK. And just load into project and close this. So now we are back into the project environment. Let's click this drop down, select wall reveal, hit edit type, duplicate. Let's say new, hit OK, and just select the one which we just created, that is profile. Hit OK, and just go ahead and place it on the wall. And hit escape. So now as you can see here, we got this. This profile is a bit smaller one. Select side view, zoom it a bit, select this profile. And I'll go with 6 inches from top. Again, select this profile. Hit Array. I'll go with the second one. And let's give it as 15 as of now. Hit Enter. Select the starting point. Choose the second point. And zoom out a bit. We need some more. I'll go with... Let's say 18 and hit OK. Yeah, now this is perfect. 
yeah now this is looking good let's see it in realistic view much better so now we need to add a wood material to this wall so to do that select the wall hit edit type hit edit by category and search for wood material we can also create a new material but as of now i'll just select this one wood stain hit ok ok here and ok here as well so this looks pretty good if you really think this tutorial was helpful and informative then do hit that like button thanks for watching